table topic master for this evening. So as you wait for the machine to start, I'll make a short announcement. Next Monday, next Monday at 6.30 p.m. Right, pardon the handwriting. At South Spine, Block 4, Seminar Room 2. Are we recording him? We're going to have our appointment holder training. Okay, so we heard about the CL manual. You need your timer, you need your counter. So we are training you how to be a better uh, appointment holder. So uh, how, how to listen effectively when you are doing art counter. But our main focus for this training is TME, Postmaster of the Evening. That's one of the appointment roles which we hope that all members can take it up every week. But it can be quite intimidating. So on Monday, we will have our club advisor, uh, Distinguished Postmaster Gite, which is the club mentor of NUS Postmasters. Thank you. So he will, he will be the, the main uh, instructor for the evening to teach you how to be uh, Postmaster of the evening. Right, that, that is all for announcement and allow me to begin my table topics. Right, do we have a uh, table topics a uh, chance for all of you to start speaking? So I hope that all of you, uh, sorry, Toastmasters who have not spoken this evening, to volunteer yourself or I will enroll you. Not many. You have paid money, so you have to speak, you have to practice. So that's the main difference between Toastmasters and any other speech training. So those who have, uh, who have not spoken, please volunteer yourself. Anyone? You can, you can. Then uh, uh, Nas will fight for you. You want to? Alright, woo! Da, 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 da. Oh yes, uh, sorry. Timing sequence for table topics. At two minutes, eh? well, one minute you will see the green light. That's one minute. One minute, 30 seconds, you will see the amber light. Two minutes, you will see the red light. <laughs> right, two minutes, 30 seconds, you will hear the bell ring. Then there will uh, make you uh, ineligible for voting for the test with the topic. So, your favorite number. Favorite number is not here, right? <laughs> And for favorite number for the next two hours? Um, I think I'll go with number seven. Number seven. Yes, offer. Uh, I'm a long time fan of yours and yesterday I went to the house and I saw this in the living room. So can you please explain this? So in one minute, please carry on. It's a table topic so you can just spin any background of information you want. The thing is, what our dear person here does not know is I'm actually a crime lord and he just discovered my stash. Unfortunate, but you got to go. <laughs> but seriously, what is this? This is money. Money is important for the economy. Everybody needs money. You need money to even be here. You come up. You guys had to pay eighty dollars, right? Did any of you not pay the eighty dollars? <sighs> okay. Delta oh. need to collect from them. Okay, fine. But money is important. In the, especially in today's society. This isn't the time where algae culture rules where you can have your farm, you can grow your stuff, have your animals, and then you don't really need anything to survive that is not growth. If you, like, sorry, I'm getting to our point here, but in the olden days, we lived in a, but we lived with barter trade. We did not have currency per se. We want something, oh, I have a chicken, and I want that vase. How many chickens can I give you in order to get a vase? We didn't have money, we didn't have currencies. So, this time, day and age, is not like that. We need currency, we can't just say like, can't go to a shop, can't go to a prime supermarket, it's like, I want this chocolate. I have a notebook. You, can, you cannot go to the counter and ask, hey, can I have this chocolate for like two of my notebooks? <laughs> it's not possible, they'll kick you out. Money is very important. and. Not only just to get stuff, not only because it's just you because you need to get stuff, definitely, but it's because it keeps the economy going. Economy is important. The whole country lives on economy. If you have a good economy, your country is basically prosperous. And if it's prosperous, your government will be able to give you lots of freebies, per se. Freebies, I say, because all of it is actually coming up to tax. <laughs> but because your economy is successful, you have a good economy in your country, you can get things like playgrounds. You can get things like street lights, which can help you see 